What are the primary factors um, behind our vulnerability cyber attacks? Uh, the growth uh, of our attack surface, right? So more IoT devices, more data existing in more places. And then the low cost of entry for cyber threat actors to actually impact our assets, impact our uh, customers, and impact our suppliers. And um, with regards to what we can do about them, right, is uh, we can think bigger than ourselves, right? We can talk about collaborative defense, where we are partnering with our peers and with uh, our government partners to uh, look at our data and then uh, provide actionable intelligence on uh, what we see from a situational perspective, a situational awareness perspective. And we can segment our networks, right, and have that defense in depth uh, posture. And uh, at each one of those uh, layers of defense, we would have multiple controls. Uh, so that would be the defense in breadth conversation. And um, when we think about the controls that we apply, um, to protect our assets, right? We we must uh, maintain kind of that zero trust um, architecture mindset, uh, which only allows that least privileged access. And then we must have those advanced analytics to help us um, detect the bad thing that's coming, right? That anomaly, and then react to it. Um, I would say that uh, uh, we must continue to work with the government right to take action and we must uh, work with ourselves right with the industry overall uh, or the industries that uh, the the sectors are working together with overall uh to uh manage those those risks right react together right?